Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Cortez and this video is about the complement decay accelerating factor or DAF. DAF is a GPI anchor glycoprotein also known as CD55. As you can see here, DAF or CD55 is attached or anchored to the host cell surface by this molecule called glycosyl phosphatidylinositol or GPI. DAF, together with CD59, which is covered in another video, are the only GPI anchor membrane bound complement regulatory proteins. DAF is expressed on hematopoietic cells such as erythrocytes and non hematopoietic cells. DAF is able to recognize C3B and C4B and protects host cells from complement-mediated attack by performing a function called decay accelerating activity. This video will cover the function of DAF or decay accelerating activity. In certain circumstances, the complement system can be activated on the cell surface of host cells here represented by the deposition of C4B and C3B on the cell surface of red blood cells. Sometimes the C3 convertase of the classical and leptin pathway C4B, C2A, or the C3 convertase of the alternative pathway C3B, BB, can be formed on the cell surface of red blood cells. These C3 convertases potentially can cleave many molecules of C3, depositing C3P on the cell surface of red blood cells, and eventually it may form the membrane attack complex that will lyse red blood cells. Luckily, we have DAF on the cell surface of red blood cells that will recognize the C3 convertases and it will displace C2A and BB from the C3 convertases, protecting the red blood cells from complement-mediated attack. DAF is accelerating the decay of the C3 convertases, and as a consequence, no C3B deposition will longer occur. Thank you.